What's up fam, it's Weezy here, back with another video. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys all of my favorite garments that I created back in 2018. So first I'm gonna show you the details of each garment and then I'm gonna show you how I style these garments. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First up is my functional plaid pullover. As you can see, I have a detachable pouch pocket with button snap closures, and underneath that pouch pocket is an additional pocket to store your essentials. Coming out of the left sleeve, I have a flap with a snap button closure, and under that, I have another hidden pocket to store your essentials in. And as you can see, I juxtaposed the garment with black fabric on the hood, hem, and sleeves. And this accidentally occurred when I ran out of plaid fabric, and surprisingly, it complemented it very well. My second favorite garment was constructed back in November when I was in fashion school and this is my directional button down and that name was created from all the arrows going in different directions on my shirt as you can see. And two minor details featured on this garment are two front yokes with button closures and underneath each yoke are hidden pockets to store the illegal essentials. And I know you guys can peep my right cuff when I was recording this I realized that I was missing a button so my cuff is looking real sloppy. My third garment is my multi-utility apron, which I also created a pair of matching denim pants that you guys can check out on my website, but I decided to deconstruct the pants so they aren't worn in this video. So my apron features five front pockets, which in detail are three patch pockets, one zipper pocket, and one slip pocket hidden underneath my IO and patch. And last but not least, this apron is reversible, so you can either wear it showcasing the pockets on the front or on the back. And with this being completely reversible, makes this my second favorite piece overall. My first one is coming up soon. On to the fourth constructed piece, I have my puncture vest. This fabric came with the raised embroidered detail which I thought was cool. And this features four front functional patch pockets, two of a flapping button closure, and two of just a button detailing.
My favorite detailing is on the back where I have an oversized functional patch pocket, identical to the front ones, and I just thought that this was something dope to add. Next up is my Blossom Half Zip Pullover. Featured on the front is an oversized kangaroo pocket with a flap closure and my half zip closure. On the back I have two slip pockets with flap closures and I wasn't able to reach back there in a smooth manner and show you the pockets underneath. So you can go and check that out on my website. But as you can see, I also juxtaposed this pullover and the matching shorts with a rear fabric to allow the floral print to be recognized more. And I forgot to show you the left zip pocket, which I will end up showing when you see the full fit. Now I ain't gonna lie to you guys, these shorts fit way better when I first made them, but now they're looking a little medium. <laughs> But anyways, the details on this magic piece are two front pockets, which is one exposed side zip pocket and one double welded pocket. And on the back, it's basically the same thing, just flip vertically, and all pockets are fully functional. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, this Blossom project is my favorite project overall. And guys, my final favorite project of 2018 is my bandit project, which consists of a matching set of trousers and a button down shirt. And for the shirt are two tilted front pockets and a left sleeve pocket. All pockets have button closures and are fully functional. And to end this segment of detailing, here are my banded trousers, which consist of identical tilted pockets on the front and two patch pockets on the back. And all pockets are completely functional.
I appreciate you all sticking with me. Next up, I'll be showing how the matching fits look all together and how I style my other individual pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode on my Constructive Creations playlist. And if you guys have any free time, I would love for you to go check out my editorials on my website, which is www.constructivecreations.com. And there you can see how I evolved from printing on clothes when I first started my brand to now creating it from scratch. And everything has been shot by my homegirl, Julie Jules on the ones and twos, AKA Joel Santana. <laughs> but now for real guys, I appreciate it and I will see y'all next week. Peace.